All right, guys, let's see how we can solve question 59 from the first chapter of the mechanics of materials. Beer and Johnson, and in this one, we have a, a marine crane that has a link CD that has a uniform cross section of 50 by 150 millimeters. And for the loading show, we need to determine the normal stress in the central portion of the link. So we are looking or the normal stress, which is basically the force that is applying into that member. We can call it FCD over the area, and the area is pretty easy. We have the area of the middle. We know it's 50 by 150 millimeter. So as long as we have the force FCD, uh, the rest of this question should be pretty easy. And see how we can find FCD. If we look at the whole crane in here, external forces that we have in here is that so we have a pin at point A, which means we have X and Y components and show our X and Y in here. So at the B part of that crane, we're going to have the tension in the cable, which if we just draw the free body diagram for this weight, we're going to have the weight downward which is mass time acceleration of gravity and this will be our tension and if we use our equilibrium equations uh we can figure out that sum of all forces in y is equal to zero so the t would be equal to weight of this load that we have so if that's the case the tension that we're gonna have applying at the end of this crane here would be the weight and also we are looking for the force that is applying to member FCD. We can just show it like that, FCD. And that's pretty much all the forces that we have. We are in equilibrium. We can use our equilibrium equations. So we have three equilibrium equations. Sum of all forces in X equals zero. We have the same thing for Y. And we can use one moment equation about any points that we want in here. And if we look at this, we'll see that we have the most unknowns at point A. So if we just do the moment about point A, we can get rid of AX and AY since none of them is going to make a moment about point A. And we should be able to find the FCD pretty easy. By the way, I have another channel where I solve injury mechanics questions. I'm going to put the link in the description below if you need to review all these 2D moments and all the equilibrium equations. Uh, you can definitely check that one out. Yeah, it will be helpful. So we're going to have the moment of the weight, which is clockwise. Since we consider counterclockwise positive, so that will be negative. So minus W is the force. And we're looking for the distance, which would be distance, or I should say vertical distance from A to the line of action, which is this distance, which would be what we have in here, 25 plus this little 3 meter distance. So 25 plus 3, and we're going to have the moment of the FCD, which as we can see is going to be counterclockwise, so it will be a positive moment. So FCD and the distance would be the vertical distance to the line of action from A to here, which is going to be 15. And this will be equal to zero because of our equilibrium situation. So we should be able to find FCD, which would be weight times 28 divided by 15. So we just have to find the weight. We know our G is 9.81 meter per square second. So weight would be mass times acceleration of gravity or G. The mass is 80 megagram. And if you want to report it to kilogram, we know mega is 10 to the 6. So we're going to have 80 times 1000. That's going to give us kilogram. And if we multiply this by G, we're going to get the force in Newtons. So 28 divided by 15. And actually, we can keep this 1000 to have the force at the end in kilonewton. So we just have to multiply 80 by 9.81 times 28 divided by 15. This is going to give us 1464.96 kilonewtons. And uh, if we want to get back to our normal stress, we found FCD. So the normal stress for FCD would be the force, which is 1464.96 kilonewton over the area. We know the dimension of the cross section 50 by 150, and we're going to divide that by 1000. So 50 times 150, and we have to divide each by 1000, or we can multiply it by 10 to the minus 6. That's going to be meters squared. 
and instead of our kilonewton, we can just write it 1000 newtons. So let's see what we get. So I'm just going to keep this one for as mega. So we're going to get Pascal at the end of this. So all we need to do in here is to do 1464.96 times 1000 divided by 50 times 150. And this is going to give us 195.33 megapascal. And the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.